What's up, Control Freaks? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Les Alex, and today we're going to be looking at the modern challenge from the 20th of June. And holy smokes, was Jeskai Control, Energy Control, among one of the best decks. In fact, as you can see right here, we've got one and two both taking the first top spots, McWinsauce and Critric, and then in ninth place, Flowing Spice with Is It Control. But before we jump into this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And if you enjoy the content enough, for less than a cup of coffee, you can support the content for an entire month by becoming a member here on the channel. It's brand new. I just started it, so consider doing that if you rock with my content um now that that's out of the way let's get into this video like i said we've got just guy control times two as the number one and two in this modern challenge and we've got bant nadu we've got boros energy which bant nadu boros energy both kind of becoming some of the better decks in the format we've got a tron deck in fifth mono black mid-range mono black scam and amulet titan to round out the top eight and then we've got is it control we're going to be taking a look today at each of the three control decks and see what makes them tick we'll start with the is it control just outside of ninth place so this is what i'm calling is it wizards now goldfish has it as is it control but i think it is more of a wizards deck as you are playing harbinger of the seas Snapcaster Mage, hey, let's go. The, the King is back. And Tamio, Inquisitive Student, along with Subtlety and Murktide Regent as a finisher. I'm a big fan of this specific deck because whew, Snapcaster Mage is back, baby. And why are we playing Snapcaster Mage? Well, Galvanic Discharge, Lightning Bolt, Preordain, Spell Snare, Stern Scolding, even counter spell these are all great cards to snap back with snapcaster mage um flame of the Noor is also here obviously when you have a wizard on the battlefield this card is absolutely cracked being able to get to choose two of these modes target player draws two cards destroy target artifact or deal five damage to target creature um if you control wizard you get to choose two of those otherwise you choose one one force of negation invert polarity who had that on their bingo card for seeing top tier play but it, it's here it's a counter spell and then if you you flip a coin and if you win the flip you gain control of whatever spell it is that you're countering so some huge swinging games with this card uh is this the best is this the best cancel we've ever seen i don't know three steps ahead is pretty good but uh invert polarity popping up here sink into stupor of course this is the new mdfc land that when it enters the if you play it as land you can pay three life to have it enter untapped or it's just a cancel that might be one of the best cancels ever as well lorian revealed of course and then we have some lands I'm not really going to talk about the sideboard so much because I truly believe if you're building a sideboard for a local meta, you need to build it around your local meta. But I'm super stoked on this Is It Wizards deck. Tamio seems like one of, if not the best, Flip Planeswalker. But all the Flip Planeswalkers are seeing play, which is super, super awesome because they, they seemingly have figured out how to make cards impactful in modern but not cracked in modern which is something uh you know with all these free spells from modern horizons 2 i was a little anxious of heading into modern horizons 3 spoilers but uh snapcaster being back that's so sick let's move on to the second place just guy this is just guy this is just guy control by kitrick kitik Crytik. I don't know how to say it. Shout out to them for getting second, though. We have two Filage, Titan of Fury. Of course, this is one of the Elder Giants um, that enter the battlefield, and then they are sacrificed, and then they have an escape cost. This one, however, is Boros. It enters, it lightning helixes, and then you can escape it and exile five other cards And it when it enters and when it attacks. So this thing, when it attacks, that's potentially nine damage if unblocked. 
Um, and then we have Subtlety and, of course, Solitude. So this is a control deck. No Snapcaster Mage here. And we are playing two Teferi Time Raveler. Just the one of the best Planeswalkers in the format. Definitely the best control Planeswalker. We are playing 4-1 Rings. Um, Galvanic Discharge is here. This is an energy deck. Tune the Narrative. Prismatic Ending is here. Counterspell Rat the Skies. Rat the Skies is awesome. And if you watched my last video about this energy control deck you know there's there's no ley line binding because rat the skies could potentially not play well with it invert the polarity invert polarity is here as well uh i can't believe it actually i mean it's pretty sick when you hit it um but and then we have lorian revealed and your usual suspects in the mana base some surveillance ottawara and yeah nothing else pretty nothing crazy we do have a consigned to memory, which is the new uh, the new counter triggered ability or colorless spell. With all that Eldrazi running around, definitely worth playing in the sideboard. And then, ooh, Draineth Magistrate, that's pretty sick. But yeah, so that is the second place deck by Kitrick. Again, Flage and all the energy package really seeming to be a standout for control players from Modern Horizons three. Moving on, though, to first place. This is McWin Sauce. This is all he does is win, 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 no matter what. He is playing the King Snapcaster Mage as one of. We've got three Flage, one Subtlety, three Solitude. So we're playing less Subtlety, but more Snapcaster Mage. And then only one Teferi. Interesting. I would think you'd want to probably play th two of these at least. But, you know, McWin Sauce, all he does is win. We'll, we'll let him uh we'll let him do that pick the points and the amounts <laughs> uh galvanic discharge is still here spell snare tune the narrative wrath i mean wrath of the skies again and i said it in the last video i'm gonna say it again tune the narrative very similar to a tune with ether from back in the day uh it's basically the blue version right this is exactly what you would expect this kind of card to do draws a card makes two energy galvanic discharge again doesn't go face but can deal with some pretty big creatures. Uh, and then Wrath of the Sky is kind of the reason to play the energy package. This is the big payoff. You can just destroy everything. It destroys everything. Force Negation. McWin Sauce also playing Invert Polarity. Sink into Stupor. One Ring and one, uh, one Dress Down. And of course, we are playing the 4-1 Rings with an Arena of Glory. Arena of Glory is popping up because if you can Arena of Glory into a Flage... That is pretty spicy. That's nine hasty damage potentially coming across. And uh, yeah, the sideboard's very similar. This time playing three uh, consigned to memories. So yeah, I'm really excited though. This deck is awesome. This Jeskai control is back. And I think it is real because we're at the beginning of the format. And the fact that this deck is doing as well as it is, is incredible. Because usually control is not good at the beginning of a new format. And don't get it twisted, folks. This is a brand new format. This is not your grandpa's modern. This is a brand new format. It looks completely different from the way it did just two weeks ago. Before the set came out. Before Modern Horizons graced its presence. So, yeah. What do you all think, though? Is Jeskai and this Is It Wizards deck here to stay i personally think if it's already doing well how are you gonna stop it it is control season in modern right now i'm loving it thank you all so much again congrats to mcwin sauce for taking down the challenge i appreciate y'all for watching again like comment subscribe become a member it would mean the world to me become a true control freak i appreciate you all though and i will catch you all on the flippy flop Adiós.